Hey friends, since I already have an original partner video out for higher level players, I guess, that gets me a billion, um, I decided to help out the lower level guys because a few people were commenting, hey, uh, that's all well and good if you have like 300 goblin techs, so I get it, um, not everyone's got the troops I got, so um, we're just going to kind of get a base and we're going to go over a little bit. You can use um, Dracula, if you have a Dracula, it's probably the best for this. I'm assuming everyone has like a lower level Dracula at least, probably. Um, so pretty much you just want to lock in his troops on your front guys and get them in a little area. So I just put uh, the three brawlers up front here. And then hopefully those guys will come down, they'll get locked on the brawlers, and then your healers will help heal if they need help. Um, Dracula is in there to help heal too. So if you don't have a lot of goblin techs, um, next thing in line, um, you can use some range in there too. Um, if you have some priest mages, um, just a bunch of range would probably be pretty good. Um, if you do have some, just pick some troops uh, that hit multiple targets. So, ore hunters, if you have some ore hunters, you can throw those in there. Um, high damage troops. So, um, I think priest mages, um, ballistas, we can throw ballistas in there. I think they're going to do us some pretty good damage. And we can go more magic apprentices. We can go ghost assassins. Just a bunch of different stuff. Um, and just troops that hit multiple troops at a time. So we're going to throw in more of these guys. Yes. And so you have uh, Harbingers of Fire. They do pretty good as well. They hit multiple targets. I wonder how a... Well, you know what? Let's just put in a few different of each here. See how well uh, multiples do. So we could get, try a Taurus Witcher, try a Frost Archer in there. Let's see how good an uh, Undead Warrior and a Shadow Ninja do in there. So there's just multiple stuff here. We'll pull, put in a Peltas to see how they do. All right, guys, we're ready to roll. Let's get uh, rocking. We'll put uh, Dracula. If you guys aren't surviving, put the Dracula auto on off. We'll see how everyone just kind of collects on those guys in the front, and then the range can kind of go and do their thing. So this is just kind of a... The main thing is get your, your uh, front attackers to get to tank most of the damage and then have your um, your range and stuff in there is just going to pick everybody else off and Dracula works really well if you try another guy try one maybe that uses that does some heals like um, oh Arthur or I don't know about Siondiak I'm not sure how she'd do in there but the, the, the concept is the same. Dracula is really good for Infinity Wars just because he heals everybody all the time and with based on the damage that they do. So if you have some area of effect guys that hit multiple targets at more than once, and they do pretty good. So right now we're not really losing any troops. Everyone's getting healed nicely. And we'll see what kind of damage um, our different troops do there. So... Sorry guys, I forgot about um, a lot of you all and just putting out a form there that doesn't really help anybody, isn't really helpful. So I thought I would uh, share this, hopefully get a thumbs up. I got a thumbs, didn't get a thumbs up last time because I just had way too many goblin techs in there and I was like, yeah, you know what, you're right. Um, it's hard to, it doesn't really help. You can see that a troops or what... Um, guys are doing a lot of damage but if you don't have those it doesn't really help you so uh, I'm gonna try to help out everybody as much as I can so here we go lower level um, players you could try harbingers of fire they probably do pretty good as well because um, any troops like I said that attack multiple uh, targets at once 
that have an area of effect so they're like they hit like three by five or you'll when you look at it, it says hit single target or something like that so um, even though the shadow ninjas they only hit single targets they hit fast and so do the undead warriors but still probably in any infinity wars um, your guys that hit multiple targets are going to out damage you guys that hit the single targets pretty much every time so that's something to uh, if you're trying to increase your score for infinity wars um, definitely try putting in uh, the most um, guys that hit multiple targets um, goblin techs obviously are crazy because they hit you know their cannons go off all the time they make multiple cannons and if you can get everyone in a little bunch they do a lot of damage or hunters do well they hit multiple targets um, priest mages ballistas all those you can see the ballistas just going off there in the middle they can do a crazy damage So not doing horrible here. I mean, this one isn't going to get you a billion, but it should help out. And I'm going to try to do um, video, uh, Infinity War videos, uh, the next few that are coming up. So um, for lower level players. I've already got all my um, videos out for my max score I've gotten on all of them um, so far. So if I do ha get hit another one that's a max score, I'll put that out for um, the guys that have the, the more troops that I have. And then I'll just start making these for um, from guys that might have fewer troops, just to get an idea. There's a lot of different forms out there, and I think um, the majority is just uh, well suited to have um, a kind of a basic concept on how to take these things out and get the best damage possible. So, and you can fiddle around with different heroes. A lot of people have Arthur, um, but mainly your healing class ones or the ones, uh, or your guys that can do some crowd control are gonna do best for you. That being said, um, Freya might be kind of interesting because she bl blasts everyone into a little corner. Um, and if, if that's the case, if you can get everyone nailed into a little tiny corner and then um, your cannons just blast away, you're going to do pretty good. So there's 500 million, not bad. Let's check out our report and the troopage. Um, okay, so you can see Undead, undead Soldiers, um, 2 million. Um, this would kind of give you a good idea of what kind of damage you guys are going to do um, with that. So, Undead Warriors at 10 will probably do fairly good actually. So, you have level 9, did 5 million. Clearly, um, Goblin Techs did the crazy damage. You can see your Ballistas are at there at the, the high level mark. So, if you don't have Goblin Techs, just kind of look at the breakdown here and see. Um, what else you're going to put in after that. The Ice Mages didn't do a lot of damage, but they can uh, um, kind of control the guys a little bit. Um, so your main guys are probably going to be, after Goblin Techs, uh, put in, oh, I'm going to have to say Magic Apprentices, as many Magic Apprentices as you have, and then um, Ghost Assassins, and then Orc Hunters, uh, ballistas, uh, priest mage, undead warriors, stuff like that. So, all right, guys, I hope this helps out. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time.